Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Fantasy Tipped. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the New York Rangers, their players, and if I think you should draft individual players that I'm going to be listing very shortly. Before we get started, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs this year, so your support would really, really, really be appreciated. Jumping in now to the New York Rangers projected lines for the year. On the top line, we have Chris Kreider, Sabinijid, and Lafreniere transition to the right wing. On the second line, we have Panarin, Strom, and Capo Kako. And on that third line, we have Goodrow, Heedle, and Kravtsov. On defense, we have Lindgren, Fox, Keandre Miller, Truba, Nemeth, and Lundqvist. In nets, we have Shesterkin and Georgiev. So the first guys on this list are Artemi Panarin, Mika Zibanejad, and Adam Fox. And what can I say that hasn't already been said about these guys? They're insanely talented. Panarin and Zibanejad are top-tier players. They're going to be drafted super early. And yes, I think they're being drafted where they're supposed to be being drafted. If Zibanejad's being drafted late, if anything, if he can have that pace that he had in the second half of the season the entire year, Zibanejad's going to have an amazing, amazing year. And Adam Fox, I mean, he's just one of the best defensemen in the league. About half his points came from the power play, but I'm not too worried about that because he should continue to get top power play time the entire year. I love all these guys where they're currently being drafted. Next is Igor Shosturkin, and last year had a bit of a disappointing season, I would say, with only 16 wins and 35 appearances. But the Rangers, I believe, are a better team this year and should make a bigger playoff push. And they're not restricted to playing within only their division this year, which is nice. So they should get a, a few more easy wins because their division is quite difficult. So I don't mind Shesterkin at all at his current ADP of 156.9. Next is Ryan Strom, and he's currently projected to be that second line center with Panarin at his wing, also centering that top power play. Yeah, I like Ryan Strom. He should continue to get pretty much a point per game pace this year. And he makes for a pretty decent pick at his ADP. Next is Chris Kreider being selected around 160th overall in his ADP. Had a bit of a down year last year with only 30 points in 50 games. But Zibanejad had a down year last year, right? He did not do anything until the second half of the season, if not later. And Kreider still managed 30 points with this guy, right? So if Zibanejad could turn it on the entire year long, Kreider could have a much bigger year, assuming that he does stick with Zibanejad the entire year and that top power play. He's also a little bit safer in bangers leagues or leagues that count hits because he does hit a significant amount. And it might seem silly, but the Rangers, that's kind of it, right? The top six guys are the guys that you want to be drafting and the rest of the guys are, we'll have to wait and see, right? Lafreniere is going to be getting that top line time this year with Zibanejad, so he should gain that right wing eligibility. And we'll see how he performs with that. I'm not super, super confident that he's going to excel and he's not necessarily going to get a lot of top power play time. So I'm going to wait and see with him. He's being drafted in too many leagues for my comfort level. But if you're able to get him really late in the draft, I don't hate it. Next is Jacob Truba, and he's not a guy who's going to get you a lot of points. But he was 45th in the league in hits and 35th in the league in block shots, and he missed 18 games. So he's going to be really good with the peripherals. And if that's something that you need in your league, Gives him a really safe floor. And that's why I don't mind drafting Truba at his ADP, but don't expect him to score you a lot of points. Next is Capo Caco, and he's only being drafted in 19% of leagues. So he's another wait and see guy with me. He's currently practicing on that second line with Panarin and Strom, right? So he could potentially have a breakout year. I'm going to need to see it first, though, before I pick him up off the free agency. Next is Keandre Miller, and he had a pretty decent rookie season last year, right? He blocked a good amount of shots, didn't get a crazy amount of points, but he looked good. I'm not drafting him in fantasy though because he doesn't really have a lot of value aside from those block shots. And even then, it's not like he's blocking an insane amount of shots. I'm staying away from Keandre Miller. And last but not least is Vitaly Kravtsov. And I'm not drafting this guy, but I'm keeping an eye out for him because if he gets elevated to the top line or the second line with Zabinijad or Panarin, he could have a pretty decent season. Right now though, he's practicing on that third line. So I'm staying away from him. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Fantasy Tipped.